What is up you guys? Dennis Garcia here. How the hell is everybody doing? I am doing great. Today it is Thursday, June 3rd. And uh, I just woke up not too long ago, which is why I look like a hot mess. And also I have my Dutch Bros coffee with me, which is always a good start to the day when I have my Dutch Bros coffee. So I actually have this coffee. I bought it the day before yesterday. And surprisingly yesterday, I didn't drink it. I, I was asleep for most of the day because my sleep schedule is all sorts of fucked. So I didn't have my coffee yesterday. And I remember today when I woke up, I was like, oh shit, I have Dutch Bros coffee in the fridge. So I poured myself a little, a little cup. And it's really strong today. I forgot that I ordered it with, with two extra shots which I never do because um, the cold pour comes with only two extra shots. And I added another shot on top of that. So like total shot wise in my coffee, I think is like seven shots right now, which is a little excessive because I'm not doing anything today that requires me to need that much caffeine. But then again, I am a caffeine slut. So actually I'm not a caffeine slut, I'm a coffee slut. But caffeine is just a part of that little a little thing so i take it in stride because i love my ca coffee caffeine i keep wanting to say caffeine even though i feel like coffee and caffeine are two different things i love coffee i like caffeine but i mostly get my dutch bros for the coffee and not really the caffeine i don't know it's become a, 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 a an extension of my personality now to have coffee with me every day and i know that that's a bad thing because coffee gives me like really bad anxiety to the point where like I can't breathe properly for like hours because of how fast my heart is racing from all of the caffeine that I have ingested during the day from all the espresso shots that are in my system running through my bloodstream but um as you guys can see I cut my hair I went to the the um I went to the salon yesterday and I want to go cut my hair because it's almost gonna be like really really hot in Phoenix and I hate having long hair in the summer because not only am I just hot all the time because I'm chubby and I overheat, um, but then having like long hair is just like the worst during the summer in Arizona because it's like your hair is literally wet, moist, and disgusting all the time. So like I cut it pretty short. I like it. I just, I need some like hair pomade stuff so I can like style it. So I might go to Target today to go get some hair stuff. I also gotta clean my room because the birds have just done pooped all over the place. And it's also very dusty in here because I don't know why my room's dusty all the time. I think it's cause the fans or the AC or something needs to be dusted. But um, yeah, I also took out my earrings, which I'm kind of sad about, but at the same time, not really because they were hurting me. I think they got infected or something. I'm not entirely sure, but like I couldn't sleep on them. They kept bleeding. And then when I took off this one, there was like a, a like a little pimple that I popped and like pus came out. I know it's really gross. Sorry, it's graphic. But yeah, it like pus came out and it was like yellowish and it was disgusting. And I just don't feel like I need earrings anymore. Even though I spent like $80 on like the piercings and then I spent like $30 on some earrings. It was quite the investment for only being able to have my ears pierced for like two, three months. I highly regret it only for the fact that they got infected and I had to like take them out because that was a lot of money. $100 is a lot of money that I just threw away because my ears are now probably closed. Most likely they're closed and uh probably not gonna get my ears pierced again honestly i have like really thick l lobes i don't know if you guys can tell how thick they are but like most regular like push in push pin type of earrings don't really fit my my lobes because they're too thick and the needle is like not long enough so i think that's what happened i think that the earring that I had, the pin was too close to like my lobe that when I pushed the pin in to like close, close it, it like pushed against my piercing and it like, I don't know, I think it got infected. 
Either way, I'm not wearing earrings anymore. I still have my nose ring though, because I love my nose ring. I kind of want to like switch it up, but at the same time, I'm kind of like nervous because I don't want it to get infected. I feel like if I like take it out and put another one in, it's going to get infected again. And I feel like right now we're at a good place with my nose ring. Um, but guys, I have not made a video on my channel in like two or three weeks. And it's partly because like, I'm just going through like this like mental drainage. Um, I actually sold my camera a couple days ago, like an idiot, because I was like, we're still in a pandemic. I haven't touched my camera in like weeks. I don't film, I don't vlog, I don't do anything. It's gonna be hot in Phoenix. Like, why do I need the camera? So I posted it up on OfferUp. I sold it. And like the next day, I immediately regretted it. I was like, what else am I going to do in Phoenix besides vlog and take pictures? Like, I, that's my only passion. It's my only hobby. I love photography. I love filming. I love editing. And I was like, shit, what did I do? What did I do? So I ended up going back on OfferUp, <laughs> finding another EOS R, the same camera that I have. And I hit up this guy and I was like, hey, can I buy it from you? And he was like, yeah. So yesterday I met up with him and I bought his camera for like 1200, which is a hundred bucks more than I sold my camera. I sold mine for 1100. And so, um, yeah, I have my, my camera again. Luckily I didn't sell anything else like my lenses, my lights, microphone, any of that stuff. I still have all of that stuff. So I just had to, repurchase my camera and the adapter and the adapter is a little expensive the adapter for the canon to be able to like use the older lenses um it's like a 100 bucks gotta burp sorry guys uh, so i had to repurchase the freaking adapter as well so i think in total i spent like 1300 to rebuy my camera so i spent 200 more to just have the same shit that I had, which is a learning lesson. If you want to sell something, post it on OfferUp and just hold off a couple days before you like immediately 100% sell it. Because chances are, if it's like a passion project of yours, you'll end up regretting it like I did. And don't make that mistake because now I'm out $200. But you know what? Every mistake is a lesson learned and I learned my lesson and we're hopefully not going to do that again. But guys, I'm also excited because I remade my room again, which is something I often do is I like reorganize, rearrange, um, refix my room. Because I'm kind of like in, in a new aesthetic right now. I'm in a new phase of my life. And I feel like with every like new phase of my life, my aesthetic changes, my color palette changes. Like for the last year my palette has been like creams and blacks and grays and dark woods and things like that. Recently though, I've been really into like royal blues, dark greens, honey mustards, um, light woods. And so I redid my room just as that. Obviously I'm not going to go th through the trouble of like repainting the walls. It's a fucking mess. It takes forever. My arms hurt. I'm not, physically equipped to repaint my walls. I am not mentally equipped to repaint my walls. It takes a lot of like precision to like not color the doors and my door is already like all splotchy with like green paint. It's just a mess. So the walls have stayed the same. I did however get a new bedspread that's like a royal blue and white, which I really like. And I also got this new blanket, which is like a honey mustardy blanket. Um, I don't know, I have no idea who the fuck that is. Someone just texted me and said, Jesus loves you. I just wanted you to know that. I don't believe in Jesus, honey, so that doesn't work for me. Um, anyways, got this blanket and uh, it's actually like a little bit too small. I got a, a twin size, which I didn't know was a twin size till I <laughs> tried to cover myself up with it. And I ended up ordering another one that's a queen size. It's a 90 by 90. And so that comes in, I think tomorrow. 
So I'm excited to use that tomorrow. Uh, I also bought a new dresser from Ikea. It's like a really pretty like royal blue dresser. I built it myself. It took me like five hours to build this Ikea dresser, but it looks beautiful. Look guys, look at that dress right there. It's like a dark royal blue color. It fits all of my stuff. It fits my record player, my records, my camera, my candles, my salt lamp, all of my little accessories. And then it has four huge drawers that I put all of my pants in, all of my Nike, not, not Nike, all of my, all of my sweatpants from Adidas, all of my underwear, all of my socks, my towels, everything that I like need to like keep away in like a drawer fits in there. And all my closet's just like, there's a lot, a lot of space for extra shirts, which I'm currently in the process of buying because I just need new shirts. And then um, I, have, I got this desk from Target. It's really pretty. I really like it. It's like a light wood. And I got a chair as well, but the chair doesn't get here until tomorrow. Um, but I'm excited to like make my room come together again. This is gonna be like a little space for me to like edit videos, film videos, hopefully. Like this will be a nice backdrop for like my YouTube videos whenever I come back to officially filming on my camera. And yeah, I got new blackout curtains as well. These are like, dark gray curtains which i don't know if i like i don't really like them but i don't know what other color palette would go good like i don't want to do blue because i feel like it's too blue blue and then blue i feel like the blue curtains were just kind of like it's too much and then black black uh, black curtains are just like i don't know so like i'm i might change the curtain colors i'm not entirely sure <sighs> haven't decided on that yet but um I also got some extra pillows because Lord knows I need the support in this bed. Four pillows for one person. It's, it's, that's pretty, it's pretty excessive. Um, but yeah, guys, otherwise, that's kind of where I am in life right now. Phoenix is getting hotter. I'm not doing shit. I am stepping outside this house unless it is absolutely necessary. And it sucks because I have to go to the gym right now. So I have to take a shower, I have to get ready, and I'm gonna go to the gym, get a good hour, two hours in at the treadmill, maybe go to Target while I'm out and get some essentials, come back, clean my room, dust it off, maybe go wash my car sometime tomorrow because my air isn't working, which sucks, so my dad's gonna fix it tonight. And uh, yeah, my car is also leaking stuff, so like I gotta find out where that's coming from, how much it's gonna cost to fix it. Summers in Arizona just fuck up your car because like it's extremely hot. Like cars are just naturally extremely hot when they're on. And then you're adding like 110 degree, 120 degrees on top of that. Not to mention that the pavement and the concrete is hot as fuck. So like cars here in Phoenix get fucked up so easily because of the heat. So that's fun having to deal with that. I don't know, I'm like mentally drained. But um, I am okay, feeling better, feeling a little more normal, I guess. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of check in and see how you all are doing and let you know how I am doing. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys back next week with my original camera and my original content. Hopefully a vlog, I don't know. Aside from that, I hope you guys are all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.